Hi, welcome to another video. Maybe this is the first video on a new MCP possibility called streamable HTTP. We have made over 20 videos on MCP and uh, different transport mechanisms like HTTP/IO or SSE, server sent events. But industry did not adopt SSE transport well. SSE transport allows us to access MCP server running on a remote machine. And this SSE is a one-way streaming communication. It also needs a regular HTTP connection. So it also need an extra endpoint for normal HTTP interaction. So is SSE dying? What we're going to do is we will go through the possibilities that the streaming HTTP transport offers and have practical demonstrations. I have created five different scenarios that can allow us to communicate to remote MCP server. So this is not about HTTP IO based MCP client server, which is local MCP server and client must run locally. This was a demonstration of five different scenarios which you won't find anywhere to see what it takes to allow remote MCP client server interaction. So remember, these are demo Python based examples. In the next couple of weeks, we will see more examples of these scenarios becoming popular. So let's go through this slide that I have prepared and then demonstration. After we finish the slides, we will execute the demo and see how it works. Basic MCP server, client sends an addition request to the MCP server. Server processes and returns the result. Simple HTTP communication. That can also fall into this category. Demonstrate the request response over streamable HTTP. So here is the interaction diagram. So here we have the client and here we have the server. A client makes a request and server respond. This is like our normal HTTP. Here is the code, simple code. The code is given in the video itself and later I will add it to the description as well. Full code is there in this video itself. Here we use fast API and also Pyrandic model so that we can get properly validated parameters to add. So we have an addition function here and the return is JSON RPC 2.0. Okay, so this is the client that talks to the remote machine. Remember for this demo, both the remote machine and the client, they run on the same machine as Docker containers, simulating a remote machine. It passes the JSON RPC payload using post HTTP method. So Docker compose run client. I already have the server running. So here, result 12. Next, SSC based streaming. So client initiates a get stream request. Server sends real-time updates via SSE. Server sends events. Ideal for live notification and progress feeds. So this remember this streaming is one-way streaming. So here we have the server and the SSE server and the request starts. A normal SSE server, this will be slash SSE endpoint. Then it returns a session ID. But in this small demo, we are not including that. We have made several videos on this. We don't know how long this SSE will survive. Okay, now here from server on the live streaming starts. Okay, and this connection once established stays connected. 